adding a container div is a really important um, aspect to any HTML page. Um, so here is the comment that marks that the container div was just opened, and here is the div for the container. So I'm using an ID because a container only happens once on a page, and um, I've defined my container in my external CSS style sheet. A container div basically wraps the content of the page into one container or one wrapper or one kind of big giant box that can then be positioned on the page. Um, most, you know, not maybe not most of the time, but I would say probably most of the time, most often, the container is going to appear in the center of the browser. And since we never know exactly how big the browser is, there's a method of making it so that the container appears in the center of whatever the viewport space um, is. So here's my div ID equals container. I could look directly in my style sheet or I could go over to my CSS styles and double click container. And we're going to see for your typical container, um, basically, uh, more often than not, you might have text align set to center. You will have a box with a width value. You will not have a float value. Watch out for that. A lot of times I see um, new students to designing for the web add extraneous code that is unimportant and, um, and, some, and sometimes even hinders your code. So be careful. You don't want to put any floating on your container. Um, and then, uh, very importantly, you're going to have your right and left margins at auto. Now, if there's a defined width, which is specific, right, we have to specify the width such as 960 pixels or whatever it's going to be, when right and left margins are set to auto, then whatever's left over is going to be divided in half between the right and left margins. And that's how we're going to end up with a centered box on the page. Let's look at this in the code as well. We're going to just scroll down here till I see pound container. Width is 960 pixels. Margin zero on the top and bottom. Auto for left and right. Text align center. And towards the um, end of the chapter, uh, we also add this overflow hidden. Um, that's, that has to do with kind of making it so that the container seems to extend all the way to the bottom of the page. Um, and it has to do with sort of overriding floats, uh, floating divs that are contained inside the container. So when we look at the, the work on the page, we're going to see that if I stretch my browser way, 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 way out, that my container, which is holding all of this content is essentially centered in the browser. If I would work this up from scratch, let's say I have a new page that I want to just create. Okay, so if I have just a little tiny bit of content on the page that I want to put into a container, I would surround my content with a div tag. There we go. And I would make that div tag have an ID called container. Now, I haven't defined an ID called container, so nothing's going to happen right now until I actually have an ID named container. I'm going to go ahead and make a new um, CSS rule. Uh, I usually don't work in this document only, but since this is just for a quick demonstration, I'll go ahead and put it in this document only. And I'm just going to add that I'm going to have some, I'm going to put my text aligned to center, and I'm going to have a box that is however wide. You know, it doesn't have to be 960. I can make a tiny container in the page, like a little tiny 400 pixel wide container on the page. Who knows? You never know. You might need to have a smaller container. And then I'm going to set my margins at zero on the top and bottom and auto on the right and left. Okay, if I view this, whoops, I have one more thing. I should just save this before I go and view it in the browser. So I'll just save this as my container test. If I view this in a browser, now I have my put this in a container appearing you know, it is in the center of the page, and so in a way, it's sort of like, well, what's the difference between, you know, putting it in a container or, or slapping the old deprecated center tag around it, which, of course, um, probably won't work in most browsers anymore. 
Um, let's just do something like add a background color so that it's really obvious what's happening here. Okay, so there's my container, 400 pixels wide um, with my text inside of it and the rest of the page um, just floating along the sides without interfering.